Hello. Welcome to Perfectly Imperfect. So many of you may know who have watched my, been watching my channel and watching my videos that I recently changed the name of the channel to Perfectly Imperfect. I thought that it just fit with my personality, my style a little bit more than Shauna's dream life. So that's one change that you guys have probably noticed. The next one that you've probably noticed is that we have cut down to doing one video a week now instead of two. I do work. I have kids. I have bills to pay, houses to clean, you know, things to do. So just for time purposes and to make things a little bit easier on myself right now, we have cut back to just one video a week and that will be on Wednesdays at 2 p.m. instead of Tuesdays and Fridays. There may be a few more changes that come along as the channel progresses. Not really sure. I'll try to give you guys a heads up if I can, um, or at least explain why I've chosen to make those changes. So today's video is going to be a Dollar Tree haul. I have been gathering things for the last couple of weeks from three different Dollar Trees, and I am excited to share with you guys what all I found. <laughs> To get things started, the first thing that I found was this feather cup. The straw was actually clear. This is a straw from a plastic straw from another cup that I got, but it is absolutely perfect for sweet tea, especially since summer's coming along. The next thing that I found is this glass milk jug bottle. I have I really wanted four of these so that I could paint them white and put like a little flower or something in my windowsill and kind of put four in a row. I saw somebody do it on a YouTube video and I thought that is so cute. I've seen these for months at my Dollar Trees. <laughs> when I decide to finally buy them, they have one left. So I'm gonna keep my eye out for at least three more, but if not, that's fine. I'm still gonna paint this one white, maybe put a sunflower or something in this and sit it in my windowsill, but they're just so cute. And it says, what is it? Dairy Milk by Heritage Company since 1810. And it's definitely real glass. And I really, really like this. Some of the things that I picked up are just normal everyday household things, which is like the Colgate enamel, uh, enamel health. Um, I've never seen this particular, like the enamel health at my Dollar Tree before. So I wanted to pick it up and get that for my daughter because she is out of toothpaste. I got batteries because I only buy batteries at the Dollar Tree for my remote control to my TV. I picked up these little clips. They're multicolored. They're green, pink, orange, purple. I think that's it. I saw a... Um, Excuse me. I saw a video about how to display pictures without using big bulky picture frames all the time. And I thought it was a really cool idea. You just clip this onto the bottom of like a four by six picture. And then you can do this and then it just sits. And then you can display your picture like that. Now, Make sure that if you want to use this idea that you get the flat bottom of these because the rounded ones do not sit up. But you can like use nail polish or paint and like paint little designs on here. Use washi tape or just leave it like it is. They're already colorful. This package came with 12 of the binder clips. I'll probably only use a couple of them, but what I don't use, I'm sure my daughter will use. The next item that I picked up in the stationery department was this eight note cards with envelopes. They had the whole set. They had um, notebooks. They had the, what are they called? The, that has the, the little clip that you can put paper on and write on it. I don't remember what those things are called. 
Anyhow, they had several different things. The notebooks and everything was a little bit bigger than these, though. I really, really liked the size and the bike and the flowers. So these can be used in my planner. I can take and put a few in my wallet or just down in my purse to take little notes. Something that's not quite as heavy as a whole notebook. I watched another Dollar Tree haul. Uh, probably, I want to say about a, maybe a week ago. It may not have been that long. Um, and they hauled these stickers along with several others. When I saw these stickers and I saw these flip-flops, Right, yeah, and then the chairs, the lawn chairs. I knew I had to have these. I went on a hunt. I went to three different Dollar Trees, and I was prepared to go to other counties and other cities to find these stickers. I was obsessed with finding these. I am all about the flip-flop life. I don't like shoes. I like flip-flops. I will wear them year round. No why. So I had to have these and I thought these would be perfect for like the first cookout of summer and just decorate my planner with these. You know what? I should have picked up two. I may go back and try to find another one because I know they'll be gone because that's just the way it is. Every time I really, really like something and I go back to get it, they don't have any more left. That's okay. The next items, I got two of these geometric shaped candle holders. I fell in love with these as soon as I saw them. They had, they had them in white and they have them in black, but I really liked the white because I'm thinking about painting them some funky colors because I'm all about colors this year and every year and my whole life. The next items that I found, I found, actually, this is one of the first things that I found at Dollar Tree, and it's these. So, this one says, follow your heart, and this one says, love never fails. And I, if you know me, which some of you out there do, I am really into crystals and stones and a lot of the metaphysical properties. Even though these are not real, I thought they were super, super cute and they're really light. So it would be easy to ha sit these on like a wall shelf or something and not have to worry about the weight of an actual stone. So these, these are the two that I got. The next thing that I picked up is this box. I have loved elephants ever since I was a little girl. And it's an elephant. And I love that design and the colors. I thought it was so pretty. So I'm going to use this box as like a decor piece. And then the inside. That lime green I think is just absolutely gorgeous. I love everything about this box. And it's sparkly and glittery on the top. For some reason, my Dollar Tree never gets like the really, really cute boxes until they're already coming out with new ones. When I found that, I've, I haven't seen that one anywhere else. So I was super, super, super excited. Like super excited. <laughs> The next items that I got are kind of like, I guess, the spring garden section. I got this flower pot that says flowers and garden. Now, in one of my previous Dollar Tree haul videos, you guys have seen me um, haul the longer oblong one. That one turned out so pretty that when I went back and I saw this one, I had to have it. I had to have it. Um, if you want to see what I've done with the longer one, check out my Instagram because I have posted pictures on there of the lavender plants that I have in there and it, it looks really, really good. So I got one of these 
and I went on and I picked up two of these plain silver ones with the rope around them. Because I absolutely, I don't know, I'm really getting into flowers and potted plants this year. So, I picked up two of these. And I don't know if I'm going to do anything with, to like decorate the, the galvanized silver or whatever. I think I'm going to leave it this, the way it is. Because I am into that bohemian farmhouse vibe. I'm not really sure how to explain it. I take the two genres and like I smash them together until they fit together. That's just me. But you know. <clears throat> I did go ahead and pick up one more of these ropes. So that I could use that for future craft projects. I picked up three of these um, terrariums. They are plastic, not glass, but that's what I wanted because I want to do kind of like a spiral hanging with three of them from the ceiling and succulents will be so pretty in here hanging in front of my window. So I got three of these. Speaking of succulents, I went to Hobby Lobby to get the stuff to make my lavender plant because for some reason the Dollar Tree florals this year they're just not doing it for me they're I don't I, at least my Dollar Tree I'm really hoping that they get some new florals in so anyhow so I go over there and I find all of these succulents that I want but they are like four and five dollars a piece some of them even more expensive I was like no I am not paying that much money for this little bitty plant. That's not even real. I'm, I'm just not doing it. So, I go to the Dollar Tree after I leave Hobby Lobby. And guess what I find? The exact same ones for a buck. One dollar. So, I went a little crazy. Not too crazy, but a little crazy. So, I got this one. And I got this one. This one. And this one. And then I also picked up some of the cactus. So I got the one with the orange tip, the one with the pink tip, and then just a regular green with like the little spiky things on it. These things look so real though. I actually have some of these succulents in my house that are real, and I have a feeling that I'm going to forget one of these days which ones are real and which ones are fake and accidentally water a fake one. I picked up three of these because I saw where someone had used these and had put succulents in and then stacked like three on top of each other and then put one on the top. So I got three of these and I was like, okay, I may do that. But I, they, I don't know. I just don't like this color, but they didn't have white. So I may paint these like some funky yellow color or maybe a bright orange or something. But definitely going to make something out of this. Next things that I got are floral. I picked up one each of these colors. And then I picked up two of these purple, I don't even know what kind of, Queen Anne's lace. So I got that, but that's, so far this is like the only floral that I have gotten from the Dollar Tree this year. I picked up one of these with the rope around it because these aren't going to stay in here, but because, um, 
I've done my bathroom in like a beach theme. And I thought this would go really, really, really pretty in there. Oh my gosh, y'all. I am down to the very last item. I got another Buddha. This one doesn't have the candle holder. One of the previous hauls that I had, I had um, one that had the candle holder. This one is just the praying Buddha. And I thought he was just so precious. And he's heavy. Very, very heavy. And it was distributed by Greenbrier. So this is a Dollar Tree brand. But I picked him up. I just got one. Um, he actually sits on the shelf beside my lavender plant with that big oblong flowers and garden Dollar Tree. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That thing, you know. Anyhow, there's pictures on Instagram. So check that out and you'll be able to see where his new home is. And that is the last thing that I got this time at the Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that like button. I would really appreciate if you do enjoy these videos to hit the subscribe button. And I hope to see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.